welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve example number 4 in this example a block diagram of a simple servo system is given as and we need to find out the characteristic equation so firstly we have to find out the open loop transfer function that is g of s so here g of s is equals to multiplication of these two blocks so g of s will be equals to 20 into 1.2 divided by s s plus 1 0 0.2 s plus 1 so this is the g of s and h of s is given as s over 6 so we know that the basic expression of the characteristic equation is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 on substituting the value of g of s and h of s we get 1 plus 20 multiplied by 1.2 over s into s plus 1 0 0.2 s plus 1 multiplied with s over 6 is equals to 0 so on taking the LCM we get s plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.2 s plus 1 plus 4 equals to 0 so we can also say that 0 0.2 s square plus 1.2 s plus 4 is equals to 0 so on taking common as 0 0.2 the equation will become s square plus 6s plus 25 is equals to 0 so this is our characteristic equation moving on to the next question that is we also need to find out undamped frequency of oscillation undamped frequency of oscillation is nothing but omega n so omega n is also known as natural frequency of oscillation it is also known as undamped frequency of oscillation since we need to find out the omega n and recently we find out the characteristic equation that is s square plus 6s plus 25 is equals to 0 and we know that the general expression of second order characteristic equation is given as s square plus 2 del omega n into s plus omega n square is equals to 0 so on comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we find that omega n to the power 2 is equals to 25 only so omega n square is equals to 25 that's why omega n will be equals to 5 only so this is the undamped frequency of oscillation moving on to the next question that is we also need to find out damped frequency of oscillation so damped frequency of oscillation is nothing but omega d since the formula of omega d is equals to omega n under the root 1 minus del square where del is nothing but a damping ratio since we know the value of omega n that is equals to 5 but we don't know this del value so firstly we have to calculate the value of del so del value can easily be calculated by comparing the second term of this equation 2 and the second term of this equation 1 so on comparing we get 2 del omega n is equals to 6 so del is equals to 6 over 2 omega n this implies that 
del is equals to 0 0.6 so on putting the value of del and omega in this relation we got omega d is equals to 5 under the root 1 minus 0 0.6 whole square so omega d is equals to 5 multiplied with 0 0.8 so omega d is equals to 4 radian per second this is the value of damped frequency of oscillation moving on to the next question that is we need to find out damping ratio recently we found the damping ratio del is equals to 0 0.6 only so this is its answer moving on to the next question that is maximum overshoot so maximum overshoot is denoted by percentage mp where it can be given as e to the power minus del pi over under the root 1 minus del square into 100 percent so substituting the values of del pi we get percentage mp is equals to e to the power minus 0 0.6 pi value is 3.14 over under the root 1 minus del square that is 0 0.6 to the power 2 into 100 percent this implies that percentage mp is equals to e to the power minus 1.884 over 0 0.8 into 100% so we got percentage mp will be equals to 9.48% so this is the final value of maximum overshoot moving on to the next question that is calculation of damping factor since the damping factor is equals to del omega n and since we know that the value of del is equals to 0 0.6 and value of omega n is nothing but 5 only that's why on multiplication we get del omega n is equals to 3 so this is our damping factor moving on to the next question that is calculation of first overshoot since first overshoot is given as e to the power minus 2 del pi over under the root 1 minus del square this implies that e to the power minus 2 since del value is 0 0.6 and pi value is 3.14 whole divided by under the root 1 minus del value is 0 0.6 to the power 2 so it implies that the value of the first overshoot after evaluation will be equals to 9.004 into 10 to the power minus 3 moving on to next question that is time interval after which maximum and minimum occurs so this time is nothing but peak time that is denoted by t of p since t of p is given as pi over omega d and since we know that omega d is equals to omega n under the root 1 minus del square so substituting the value of omega d in this expression we get t of p will be equals to pi over omega n under the root 1 minus del square so substituting the value of pi that is 3.14 over omega n value is 5 under the root 1 minus del value is 0 0.6 to the power 2 
on evaluating we get the value of t of p that is peak time will be equals to 0.785 seconds moving on to next question that is settling time since there are two formulas for settling time that is first for the 2% tolerance band and second for the 5% tolerance band but if it is not given in the question that is for which tolerance band we have to calculate the settling time then by default we will calculate the settling time only for 2% of the tolerance band that's why the settling time t of s will be equals to 4 over del omega n this is the formula of settling time for 2% tolerance band this implies that T of S will be equals to 4 over del value is 0 0.6 and omega value is 5. This implies that T of S is equals to 1.33 seconds. This is the final expression of T of S. Moving on to the next question that is number of cycles so the number of cycles is denoted by n and the formula for calculation of number of cycles is equals to 2 multiplied with under the root 1 minus del square divided by del pi so substituting the values n will become 2 under the root 1 minus 0 0.6 square divided by 0 0.6 multiplied with 3.14 so finally the number of cycles will be equals to 0 0.85 cycle so this is the number of cycles this is all about example number four thank you